This man is at the center of attention at the July crisis meeting here in Brussels, as the leaders of the 17 Eurozone countries try to hammer out a deal to save Greece from total financial collapse. His name is Joseph Ackerman. He is chief executive of one of Europe's biggest banks, Deutsche Bank, and he is chairman of the International Institute of Finance, an international bank lobbying group set up to deal with the international debt crisis. It is not the first time that this Swiss-born banker visits the European Council. This footage is from November last year, when he was invited to address finance ministers. Unlike previous summits, officials did not make available the institutional video of the actual meeting of EU leaders. That footage, like this one from a previous meeting, usually shows EU leaders meeting informally before they start their actual negotiations. In this case, however, it is clear that the likes of Angela Merkel, Herman van Rompuy and Nicolas Sarkozy did not want to be seen taking direct advice from top international bankers. What's also clear, however, is that without Europe's banks, saving Greece from default would have been impossible. Support from the private sector has proved to be crucial in reaching a deal that generated 109 billion euro in new financing for Greece. According to the Eurozone leaders, this private sector contribution is worth about 37 billion euros in the next three years, and about three times as much in the next decade. They hail this complex deal as evidence that they are ready to do whatever is necessary to help save the euro. Der Tag heute bedeutet für die Menschen in Deutschland an mehr an Sicherheit für unsere gemeinsame Währung und damit auch eine Grundlage für unser Wirtschaften, aber auch für den Wohlstand insgesamt. Der Euro ist mehr als eine Währung. Er ist Ausdruck auch einer großen Verbundenheit innerhalb der Europäischen Union. C'est un engagement déterminé. Je voudrais m'adressant au peuple grec leur dire que nous sommes conscients des efforts qui leur ont été demandés et que l'ensemble des pays européens a décidé d'être à leur côté. We now are clear about what we mean by PSI and to whom it applies. It is a voluntary approach by the private sector and it is therefore a solution with the markets, not against them. Financial markets, initially at least, are buying into the positive spin on the agreement. Swiss banker Ackermann says the deal represents a, quote, very real prospect, unquote, of bringing back Greece from the edge of the cliff. Financial experts, though, are already questioning it. Sonny Kapoor at Redefine says the official calculations are adding apples and oranges. Barclays Bank said the deal was more than expected, but not enough to sleep comfortably. And the economist Nouriel Roubini says Ireland and Portugal will need a similar package a year from now. For the next few months at least, the forest fire on Europe's financial markets seems to be under control. It is clear that what has been delivered is a rough and ugly kind of financial patchwork. It certainly does not look pretty. But who cares if that helps save the euro? Having bankers sit at the council table certainly proves that the eurozone leaders indeed, as they say, are willing to do whatever it takes to prevent the Eurozone from falling apart. Raymond Franken, EUXTV.